This is 2001 AP Physics B exam question. A cylinder is fitted with a freely movable piston of area, um, they give you the area, 1.2 times to negative 2 meters squared, and neglectable mass. The cylinder below, the cylinder below the piston is filled with gas. At state one, so they give you different states, state one, two, three, and four. At state one, the gas has the volume, and they give you this information. The volume, the, um, the pressure, and the cylinder is in contact with a water bath at the temperature of zero degrees Celsius. So that means the gas is at zero degrees Celsius. The gas is then taken through the following four step processes. So the first process, they take 2.5 kilogram metal block and place on the top of the piston, compressing the gas to state two with the gas still at zero degrees Celsius. So this one is isothermal. So isothermal. The cylinder is then brought in contact with a boiling water with raising the gas temperature to 100 degrees Celsius. This is when the water starts boiling at state three. So you have 100 degrees Celsius, 100 degrees Celsius, the metal block is removed, the one that was on the top. So this is your first stage, your second stage. Um, for the third one, it's brought to, the metal block is removed and the gas expands to fourth stage. So you have first stage. Um, so this is the second stage. This is the third stage, and this is the fourth stage. And the metal block is removed, and the gas expands to the state four um, at 100 degrees Celsius. Finally, the cylinder is again placed in contact with water at zero degrees Celsius and returning back to state one. So this is back to state one. So for A, they ask you to find the pressure in state two. So let me write everything that is given, and then I will look at the changes that happen to state two and um, think about how to solve the problem after I know everything that is given and written down. So I wrote that in state one, we have temperature of 273. I did convert it to Kelvin because when I have to plug into the formula, when there is no delta T, I have to plug in Kelvin. Then uh, V1 is 1.5, so that's initial volume. Temperature doesn't change, so that's isothermal process. And then P1 is 1 atmospheric, or 1.02, 10 to the fifth uh, pascals. Area of the piston is given 1.2, 10 to the negative 2, and the mass that is placed on the top is equal to 2.5 kilogram. So the pressure on the top, or from the bottom, when, it is in, when the mass is in equilibrium, the pressure at the bottom of the piston is equal to the pressure on the top of the piston. So the change for the pressure is equal to the force over the area. And that is UMG because you place the mass on the top of the piston over MG over the area. And so if I plug in my numbers, looks like I'm gonna get 2.04 10 to the third Pascal. And the pressure too is equal to the um, outside pressure plus the change of the pressure. So the, pre the pressure too is equal to 1.04 10 to the fifth pascal 
So that's the pressure caused by the gas alone or by the changes that happen in the gas. So that was our part A, where we determine the pressure in state two. For part B, they ask you to, um, let's do a different color. They ask you to find the volume of the gas in state two. So I'm gonna use um, PV1 over PV2 because the temperature stays the same. So if I isothermal process, um, I have P, P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2. And if it was over T and over T, and because temperature is the same, I could cancel T. So I can just avoid even writing over T. And then I get um, V2 is equal to P1 V1 divided by P2. So if I plug in my numbers, it looks like I'm going to get 1.47 10 to the negative 3 meter cubic. For um, C part, they say indicate below whether the process from state 2 to state 3 is isothermal, isobaric, or adiabatic. Um, so if I go back to my processes, let's just look all of them, even though we're going to answer more questions than they ask, but it's good to, to know. Um, so if I go from 1 to 2, uh, temperature stays the same, so if the temperature stays the same, that is isothermal. Then from 2 to 3, um, they say that the cylinder is then brought in contact with the boiling water bath, raising the gas to the temperature of 100 in state 3. And um, looks like the gas is expanding, and the gas is expanding in order to keep the same pressure. So um, the pressure in here will not change. So change of the pressure is equal to zero. And then from state, from state three to state four, um, they say that the metal block is removed and the gas expands to um, state four. So when the metal block is, oh, the temperature stays the same, right? So again, this is isothermal. So the temperature stays the same. That one is isothermal. And then from state four, um, finally the central is again placed in contact with the water bath um, at zero degrees Celsius and returns to the um, state one. So for state one, again, they are um, trying to keep the same pressure so here is again delta p is equal to zero so um, from one to two i have isothermal then i i have isobaric then i have isothermal and i have isobaric so my answer for c is isobaric and explain and then you can explain because um, the change of the pressure is not changing for d part is the process from state four to state one isobaric and then you can say um, again yes because it's similar um, to the state from c to uh from state um let me go back to this i'm going to choose different color right now talking about this um when you expand when you expand the gas from state two to state three um, the expansion happens to keep the same pressure so the pressure uh, outside is equal to the pressure inside and it reaches equilibrium um, and again when you go from state 4 to state 1 um, you're also cooling down the gas to 0 degrees Celsius 
um, without changing the pressure. So the gas changes its volume, the gas changes its temperature, but the pressure doesn't change. So both steps from two to three and from four to one are isobaric. And then for E, I did not, um, I did not include this part, but E says, let me look it up, what E question is. E says, determine the volume of the gas in state four. So you want to find the volume in state four. Um, I cut it off the picture without including it into the question. So if I want to compare the gas between um, the previous states or state four, um, I will have to, let me look again. I found the pressure in two, I found the pressure in two, and I found the volume in two. I know pressure in three is um, the same, so pressure in two and pressure in three is the same as pressure in two. And here temperature in one and temperature in two is the same as temperature in one. And in order to determine the volume in state four, let's look what we have here. Um, we have the same temperature. So temperature in three is the same as temperature in four. So I can do again PV over PV, PV over T equals to PV over T. So let's do that one again. I will do P1 V1 over T1 is equal to P2 V2 over T2. But when I go from 3 to 4, um, my temperature is the same. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They ask you between 1 and 4. For E, it's between 1 and 4. My fault. So for E, it's between... Um, one and four so it's between these two states so it's not it has nothing to do with three and between one is one four and one the pressure is um the same so because the pressure is the same i can do instead of pv i just will say um v four over t4 is equal to v1 over c1 and i'm looking for v4 so that is equal to v1 t4 over t1 so v4 is equal to um v1 is given v1 is given uh t4 is given I did not write it here, but T4 is T4 is um, 100 degrees Celsius is 370 um, 373 Kelvin. So 373 Kelvin. And T1 is 273 Kelvin. So if I plug in these numbers into my equation, I will get 2.05 10 to the negative 3 meter cubic.